whoa, this place is a lot nicer than what I was expecting. It actually looks pretty nice. At least it's nicer than any other hotel room I've ever seen. <laughs> Which I guess isn't saying a lot. But hey, at least we got the view. All the sights out there make up for any imperfections in here. Plus, if I remember correctly, I think we're the only ones who even got a view. I'm pretty sure we're the only ones lucky enough to see the beach from here. Well, I know that. Of course it's too dark to see it right now. I mean like in the morning. Just think about it. Waking up to the sun rising over the salt water of the Atlantic. <laughs> really can't get much better than that. I mean, what more could you possibly want? This is literally everybody's dream vacation. What's not to love about it? Exactly. Nothing. See? I knew you'd finally come around to it. Look, I know I wasn't the person you expected to share a room with, but I promise you I don't bite. We were just kind of the leftovers of the group, you know? In the end, it was destined that at least someone wasn't going to get their first choice for a roommate. What do you mean? Oh, really? I thought you wanted to be paired up with my brother. I mean, you always hang out with him the most out of any of us. I feel like everyone expected you guys to jump on the opportunity of getting to share a room. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, I guess that's pretty true. I can't really blame you for that. He can definitely be a little much sometimes. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. Oh, believe me, I've spent my whole life with him and I'm surprised I can still put up with him. Don't get me wrong, he's a great guy, but he just doesn't seem to have an off switch. Oh, don't even get me started on how many times he's woken me up in the middle of the night. Oh my god, countless nights where I've had to tell him to shut up at like 2 in the morning. Always talking on the phone or playing some stupid video game to the point where I'm not even sure if that man sleeps anymore. And I don't think this would be much different. Thinking about it, you really dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Don't worry, while you're with me, you can actually get some sleep. Promise you that. No snoring, no nothing. If you ask me, you kinda lucked out here. <laughs> Wait, that's a good idea. I'm 100% doing that when we get up tomorrow. I can guarantee you he's gonna say something about how he's tired or how he didn't sleep well. I bet Ryan will probably put the blame on my brother. I can put money on it. Oh no, Ryan's definitely not switching with any one of us. Frankly, I think you're too good to trade off. Plus, if for some reason you did, he wouldn't even want to talk to me. I feel like he's so talkative around the rest of the group, but when I go up to strike a conversation, he just shuts right up. It's very weird. Don't get me wrong, I'd appreciate the peace and quiet, but after a while, I'd just go insane. <laughs> that's what I thought too, but I don't think he would have a crush on me. At least that's what I think. I remember overhearing him a couple months ago about how he liked some girl named Skylar, whoever that is, and I can't imagine him changing up so quickly, especially with how long he was stuck on that other girl. Me? No, of course I don't like him. We've barely ever even talked, let alone gained feelings for each other. <sighs> Who my crush is, is a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. <laughs> no offense, but I'm definitely not going to tell you tonight. I don't think you're ready for the answer. Nope. I don't want to hear it. We can just leave it at that for tonight. I don't want to say anything stupid. To be honest, I think I've already said too much. Well, never mind. Let's just go to bed already. Yes, I'm going to bed. It's 10 o'clock. I'm exhausted. 
and I could only imagine you'd feel the same. Plus, we had to wake up at like 3 this morning to get to the airport. I think everybody at this point would be feeling at least a little tired. Well, that's fine if you're not going to fall asleep, but I at least want you to get into bed so you're not moving around in the middle of the night. Like I said before, I need sleep, and I swear, if you wake me up, even if it's on accident, I'm kicking you out of the room. <laughs> And I don't think that'd make either one of us happy. Don't test me. Keep it up and I might consider it. <sighs> Finally. Feels good to lay down. You kind of take it for granted when you're up and walking for the whole day. <laughs> don't even start. Those airplane seats were so uncomfortable. I think I'd actually rather have been standing. <laughs> I could barely stand sitting there for 15 minutes, let alone a few hours. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a traveler like you are. I can't even remember the last time I was on a plane. Maybe a couple years ago? Oh, don't even. You make it sound like such a burden. If it's really such a problem, I would happily be willing to trade places with you. Oh, just hurry up and get into bed already. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Why are you taking off the cushions? You're not actually using the pullout, right? For what? That thing is so hard to sleep on. I mean, it can't compare to the airplane seats, I'll give it that. But it's still pretty uncomfortable nonetheless. What do you mean? You can sleep right here. We have a bed for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I know we only have one bed. <laughs> What's the problem? Scared to share a bed with a girl, huh? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Jeez, you don't have to get so defensive. Look, I'm flattered that you hold me to such high standards, but I can't just let you use that pullout. I promise you, it's no problem sharing a bed. I'm not that mean. Yeah, there's plenty of room. You still have a whole half a bed to yourself. And before you ask, no, I don't really have a problem moving around in my sleep. So you don't have to worry about me kicking you in the middle of the night or something. <laughs> like I said, it's completely fine. I have no problem with it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Why are you so stubborn? Yeah, I said you're being stubborn. I mean, just listen to yourself. That's like the definition of it. And actually, it might be just me but it almost kind of looks like you're getting nervous in a way. <laughs> Look, I know you're a guy and I'm a girl, but I don't really mind. Think of it like two friends sharing a bed instead, you know? Nothing awkward about it. Plus, it's not like I'm your crush or anything. So what's the big deal? <sighs> Just come on already. Here, either you get into bed or I'll drag you in myself. And I don't think either one of us would be happy about the latter. Does it look like I'm lying? Oh, finally. See, it wasn't that hard. I'm glad you were finally able to come around. Here, you can sleep right here. See, isn't it nice to sleep on a soft bed instead of that thin little mattress. Glad you could agree. For a second there, I thought you'd never join me. Well, I'm glad you could finally make up your mind, even if it did take forever. Hey, come on. Scoot in. You look like you're about this close from falling off the bed. I'm almost tempted to push you. What was that? You moved like two inches. Like, actually move closer. You're acting like you're going to die if you happen to touch me. I promise I won't bite. Unless you ask me nicely, that is. 
sorry, sorry. I'm just teasing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are way too easy. <sighs> I just love to see that look on your face. That always makes me smile. I mean, come on. What did you expect? I've always been the one to tease you. Don't act like this is different. You don't get a free no teasing pass just because we're on vacation. If anything, I would say you should probably get teased more. Especially when I found out we were sharing a room together. And I can't even tell you how excited I was. Not only do I get to be with you outside the hotel, but inside as well. <laughs> Sounded like a package deal to me. <laughs> oh, like I believe that. If you really didn't want to be made fun of, I would have been your last choice for roommate, not your first. Exactly. See, as soon as you go silent, that's when I know I've won. Like I said, you're too easy. Listen, it's okay. I promise I won't make fun of you for it. If anything, I think it's kind of sweet. The only reason I keep doing it is because I know how much you like it. <laughs> Even if you say otherwise. No offense, but you do a really horrible job at trying to hide it. I mean, it's kind of easy to tell when your face glows a bright red. That's not a bad thing, by any means. Actually, I kind of like it. What do you mean, why? I feel like I've made it pretty obvious by now. <sighs> Gosh. You are hopeless. Times like these, I'm wondering how you even made it this far in life. <laughs> Don't worry. Once I tell you, you'll understand how stupid you are. Well, remember earlier when you asked about my crush? And I said that tonight wasn't a good night to tell you? Well, actually, I think I've changed my mind. <laughs> Wait. You really still don't get it? You've got to be kidding me. I like you, idiot. And I think I've made that apparently obvious. Is that really much of a surprise? What? This whole time you really thought I was teasing you for fun? Always wanting to spend time with you for no other reason than just to embarrass you? I mean, don't get me wrong, I guess that was pretty fun too, but I'm not that cruel. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever done anything that you haven't gotten a good laugh out of in the end. Whatever I said or did, you always seemed to like it as much as I did. And everyone else always knew that they were jokes. Or, shall I say, flirts? Maybe except for you and my brother, who just thought I was being friendly. Yeah, pretty much everyone knows about it. Or at least, I think they know. I never told anyone, but I think they were able to put the pieces together themselves. I mean, that's the whole reason we got paired together in the end. I'm pretty sure they're just trying to set us up. But I guess it also helped that we were both each other's first choice. Speaking of which, why was I your first choice? I know about the noisy brother shtick we were talking about earlier, but why me and not one of the other guys? Was it because of me? Come on, was it? I want to hear this. Are you going to say something or what? Well, if you can't say it, then can I just say it for you? <laughs> Goodness, you are such a dork. <sighs> oh, you like me too. Is that what you were trying to say? <sighs> Good. Don't worry. I accept your confession. There's no need to be nervous. At least, not anymore. I kind of did that part for you. <laughs> Here, scooch closer. You look like you're about to pass out. <laughs> You can lighten up a little bit, I promise. I'm not going to throw any more surprises at you. 
I think if I did, you probably wouldn't even be able to comprehend it at this point. Your brain still has to catch up. There may or may not be more surprises, but that's a tomorrow thing. Hey, do you mind if I put my arms around you? Just for a bit. I don't know, just... I kind of want to. You will? Like, actually? What happened to the dork I was just talking to earlier? I don't think he would have let me do it. True, I guess our relationship status has changed. We've been upgraded from friends to, uh, I guess, dating? <laughs> Is that the right word? I mean, we literally just found out we liked each other less than five minutes ago. It might be a little too quick to say that. Well, then what if we just went on a date? I would say that would consider us dating. Simple, right? I guess that's easy enough. But for now, I guess we're just soon to be dating. How does that sound? <laughs> well, then it's settled. I'm glad we're soon to be dating. And I like that. Hmm. That's better. My arms around yours. Isn't it nice? And I feel like I could just fall asleep like this. I don't know how comfortable that'd be for you, though. <laughs> just looking at you, I can tell this is already a little much. No, it's fine. Well, how about then I just squeeze you a little bit tighter? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, almost forgot to mention, I'm doubling the amount of teasing from now on. Nope. Nothing you can do to stop it. You'll just have to live with the consequences of getting into a relationship with me. It was part of the terms and conditions you agreed to. It's not my fault you didn't read the fine print. You have no one to blame for yourself for that one. <laughs> All right. Let's get some sleep. We really need it. Including you. Glad you agree. Although it would be fun to cuddle you all night. I'm not sure we would be feeling too energetic in the morning. How about we save that for tomorrow night instead? <laughs> Perfect. I'll make sure to mark you on my calendar. <laughs> okay. Good night. And I'll talk to you in the morning. Yeah, love you too. Goodness, I can get used to saying that. Oh, hey, can you turn off the light? I thought the switch was on my side. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>